let's talk about flossing. Not that kind, you silly goose. This kind. First, we're gonna take our little piece of floss. You're gonna place it in between your two fingers, go down in between the two teeth, make a C-shaped motion, and then you're gonna pull up. Then you're gonna go down on the same side, make a C-shaped motion, and pull up. Now what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna be really hard on it. Uh, you don't wanna like pop a crown off, you don't wanna cut your gums, you don't wanna saw your tooth off, so be gentle. I know what you're saying, hey Todd, I don't have the dexterity to floss, or uh, I have some prosthetics in my mouth that floss doesn't work on. So here's some ways around that. This is a floss pick. I'm gonna show you how to use it in case you have dexterity issues or places where you just can't reach with the floss. You use the same technique with a floss pick as regular floss. You push down, you pull up one side, you push down the other side, you pull up. This is called super floss. We use this under bridges where you can't get normal floss. Let me show you how it works. Say you have a bridge, you can't floss between it because it's connected. Well, you use something called super floss, but it has an end that's, that's slightly uh, stronger than normal floss. And you would actually push through one side, thread it through, reach over on the other side and pull. Now, you can floss just like you would a normal tooth. Now with a bridge, you can actually go under it, clean that up, and then over to the other tooth, and then just string it through. Another way to get through difficult areas is something called an interproximal brush. Here's how you do it. We'll bend it for the sake of seeing it easier. You can then go in between the teeth and clean it. Now you do not want to push hard. If this, if this is too tight, do not use it. You only want to use it in areas that it goes through easily. So here it doesn't go through any of these areas, but on the wider areas, no problem. Rinse it off, hang it like a toothbrush, or you can put the cap back on, put it in your pocket, and then you'd have it just in case. I keep these with me at all times. If you like this kind of thing and want to support the channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much and have an awesome day.